In an unusual move, Chinese netizens are posting selfies demanding freedom of speech. And it was sparked by the death of a whistleblower. NTD's Juliet Song reports. Chinese netizens are starting an online movement demanding freedom of speech following the death of the doctor who blew the whistle on the coronavirus and later died of the infection. Dr. Li Wenliang's death sparked an unusual outpouring of grief and anger on Chinese social media. To mourn Li, some social media users, mostly younger people, posted selfies wearing face masks or holding a paper that says, We can't do it. We don't understand. The quote is a response to the punishment that Lee got after he warned his friends in an online chat room that he was seeing new pneumonia-like cases. He was summoned by Wuhan police and signed a letter saying his warning was untrue. The letter listed two questions. The first question asked whether he could stop his illegal behavior, to which Lee wrote, Yes, I can. The second said, Do you understand you will be punished if you continue this illegal behavior? Lee signed, I understand. Some netizens' photos also show them holding up the quote, I demand freedom of speech, and a healthy society should not just have one voice. Now a famous quote, once said by Li. These photos were quickly deleted on major Chinese social platforms such as Weibo, but overseas Chinese are also responding to this demand. Last Sunday, about 100 Chinese people gathered in Manhattan's Central Park. They held activities mourning Dr. Li in all black. Face masks with the quote, We can't do it, we don't understand, are scattered around the banner that says, Whistles that wake up China. Chinese users on overseas Twitter also started using the hashtag. Reporting by Juliet Song, NTD News.